We are all surrounded by toxic chemicals in the environment around us. One of these pollutants is mercury, which is a biological toxin that can be lethal. It binds easily to fatty tissue, especially in the kidneys, liver, and brain, and it can accumulate in high concentrations, weakening these organs and causing severe harm. One of the best detoxifying agents to prevent mercury buildup is the mineral selenium. So you might be thinking, how are we exposed to mercury? Aside from the industrial pollution, major mercury contaminants in our environment are sourced from fish, vaccines, processed food, and dental amalgam fillings. A 2009 study published in the Journal of Environmental Health showed evidence that mercury cell chloralkali chemicals are used in the manufacturing of food color additives, such as yellow dye number five, yellow six, and high fructose corn syrup. Selenoprotein enzymes are generated by the body incorporating the trace mineral selenium into proteins. These enzymes function like antioxidants, destroying free radicals and limiting oxidative damage. They also stimulate thyroid function and optimize the immune system. Think of selenium as if it were a mercury magnet. It has a powerful affinity for binding toxic agents in the body and neutralizing them and their harmful activity. When mercury and selenium bind, this new compound cannot be absorbed by the body and it's removed as toxic waste out of the system, thus it doesn't harm you. This strong interaction greatly benefits your overall health and serves as one of the best strategies to remove accumulated mercury from the fatty tissue in areas like the brain. Selenium stimulates a variety of antioxidant pathways in the body and also reduces inflammation. It regulates the immune response and it improves blood flow. Selenium can be one of the most potent sources for reducing inflammation. It is also very important for healthy fertility and it also helps fight cancer. Selenium acts a bit like a mechanic in how it works. It binds protective antioxidants like glutathione to areas of DNA that need to be repaired. This process reduces the damage to cellular DNA and is especially important to reduce cancer growth, to improve the aging process, and to prevent against many degenerative diseases. Specifically, low selenium levels have been associated with an increased risk of thyroid cancer. By supporting the repair of DNA, selenium is able to inhibit tumors that are generated by abnormal cellular growth and development. By removing hazardous agents from the body and detoxifying the fatty tissue, selenium supports a healthy immune system to fight infection. And here in the Bellinger household, we take selenium every day because of its proven effect on inflammation. Here are 10 tips to reduce mercury and boost selenium levels naturally. Number one, consume real foods that are rich in anti-inflammatory properties. Number two, avoid vaccines. They all contain toxic heavy metals. Number three, Eat several Brazil nuts each day. Number four, eat only wild caught fish with the best ratio of selenium to mercury concentration. The fish that are farm raised, they are very, very high in mercury. So you want to avoid those. Number five, do not get dental amalgams and you need to remove your existing amalgams, but only with a qualified biological dentist. Those amalgam fillings are 50% mercury and they off gas all the time. and They're very toxic. Number six, you can enhance your body's natural detox systems with herbs like parsley and cilantro. Cilantro is excellent to detox mercury. I love the taste of cilantro shakes and I make them quite often. Number seven, you can detox daily by consuming super greens and chlorella or spirulina. And number eight, you can hydrate with clean filtered water. Number nine, take an effective detox supplement. And number 10, you need to sweat. Sweating is a great way to detox. I use the infrared sauna every day for about 45 minutes to sweat, and that helps to remove toxins from my system. Well, hope you learned a lot from this TTAC Health Nugget, and we will see you next time. God bless all of you.